y'all. Welcome back to Smooch Loves, honey. I'm Smooch, of course, the one and only. And we have a special guest in the building. Hey, y'all. <laughs> I'm the special guest, as per usual. You know, your girl, honey, had to stop in and see what's going on with these two. No? With these two? You and I? <laughs> we is the two. We is the two, so I guess we both, what, special guests? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Anywho, in other news, um, it's been a while since we recorded um honey was going through like i'm just gonna tell y'all she pregnant and she didn't want y'all talking about her so there you have it tell the people <laughs> take me to the king face ass do not play with me don't even speak that and i i actually i just got back on birth control if you want to tell people the business tell the people how you not on no birth control and you be a nutty buddy first off i ain't on no birth control and i do not be nutty buddying don't nobody be putting no butter in my i was going say putting no butter in my nut mm, that ain't sound right but y'all get what i'm trying to say but um, what's been going on new with you? Okay, let's get down to it because obviously she want to sit here and act like we ain't here to talk about her business. So basically what happened was she was in love. <laughs> she was in love with this nigga. And he happened to be plus size and he played in her face. Now tell the people. I was not in love. First and foremost, let's get that out. Okay, well, she sure was acting like she was in love. For a person not to be in love, when I say this girl was acting like she was so, so in love, my fat daddy, I just love him so much. Girl, stop. (laughs) I was not in love. I was not in love. But that was not all. And, you know, I had to fuck with him. But now it's just like he I mean he's still he cool, he's great, he cool people, but I just don't deal with him on that type of note, you know? All that feelings and all that e e e doing see, you can't be right here doing boyfriend and girlfriend shit with somebody that you're not in a relationship with. That can turn into a sticky situation. So for y'all that's out there doing that, it ain't gonna end well. But you know, I'm just playing my part now. Hang if you can hang, no pain, no gain. All that boyfriend, girlfriend shit out the window. I'm single, so yeah. So you uh, had to take some time to get all that out your system, basically, that's what you're saying. Right. I had to take some time to get all that toxic stuff out of my system from around me, you know, all that type of stuff. Cause <laughs> I'm too young for all that. And no. And I can't be right here letting people play in my face. Uh-uh. That was, that wasn't even a good look for friend. So I told her that she was a lame ass bitch. Yeah, she did call me a lame ass bitch. She was like, uh, you done turned into a lame ass bitch. And this ain't you. I don't know what you got going on. Da-da-da-da-da. Which it ain't me because, bitch, she know how I get. I get down to business. She know me. But this time I was not I was not like that. I was a lame ass bitch. So I could take accountability for that. I can't tell y'all the things that the thing that we did yet because we gotta let some more time pass. But when I tell you, ride that fool, ride that fool. <laughs> and y'all gonna be like, what? That's a that's another story for another time, 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 time. Some time got to go by. About that life. You understand me? About that life. Uh, all of, I, that's all I can say for now, you guys. But eventually we're going to tell y'all the story. Y'all just going to laugh so hard because it was so stupid. And I said, don't ever put me in a situation <laughs> like that ever again where I have to sit and do this. I'm going to do it, but damn, like, that's what we're doing. That's, <laughs> that is what we was doing, honey. We was we ain't come to play with they motherfucking asses. You hear me? And this is why I can't be bothered with people. This is why I stay to myself and I don't really be taking nobody seriously. 
because I, mm -mm. anyways, moving on in other news, because we're not about to drag it out about that nigga. No, let's drag it out. Let's drag it out because we, we, we need to talk about how you ended up in this situation. I ended up in this situation because, um, I was vulnerable. I had I just got out of a relationship, a four and a half year relationship, and bitch, I was vulnerable, vulnerable as fuck, and that's how I ended up in that sticky situation that I was in. But I'm not in that situation anymore, so I guess that's all that matters, right? It took a lot of willing and dealing, you guys. I had to really give her a lot of pep talks, you know, because I'm normally the one who be doing weak bitch shit. I have not been doing it ever since I found myself. Thank you very much. But uh, I'm normally the one who be doing shit like that. So I was, I was able to recognize the weak bitch behavior, you know, as I was seeing it. I was able to recognize, hmm, friend is really over here doing weak bitch shit. And I was, I was able to come and tell her. And she was very... Um, receptive of the information. She took it in into the last time where she was like, you need to mind your business. <laughs> I did tell her to mind, I did tell her to mind her business. <laughs> I forgot about it. I did. She was saying whatever she was saying. And I didn't want to hear that shit. That's how I'm praying to mind her business. And I was going through the motions and shit in my head. And now... Mm -hmm. Fuck that! Like, it's like it is what it is, you know. No, what happened? Well, we're not gonna leave it. We're not. We're gonna tell what? people. What happened was she was on the phone and they was going to bed at night, and I was like, "Well, if you're trying to distance yourself from the situation, then you need to stop doing that. You need to start doing all this boy." And I told her this shit. I told her this. I said, "Y'all over there doing all that boyfriend and girlfriend shit? It ain't gonna end well because you over here. Oh, that ain't my man. But y'all want to be. He can't talk about. It, you can't talk about it. But y'all don't go together. Make it make sense." Anyway, she was like, I said, you don't need to be on the phone with him. You don't need to go to sleep with him. And I hung up the phone. And then she snatched the phone. And she was like, mind your business. And <laughs> she go again. I'm out, of, I'm out of her fucking business. I'm not denying it. That's exactly what the fuck happened. But I'm just saying, let the record reflect. Because I need the people to know. Let the record reflect. Had I mind my business. Had you mind. No, don't say. Had you mind your business. Well, so what you saying? I stopped doing that shit because of you. No, what I'm saying was. Had I mind we at, my where business. Where we at right now because of you. Had I mind, you gonna let me talk or you wanna keep talking? Go ahead, Who's talk. Whose turn it is? Is it my turn or is it your turn? Cause I cussed one of the cameras on me. So why are you still talking? As I was saying, I need to get the thing so I can push it up and down. Anyway, what I'm saying is, had I not mind my business, she would be worse off than where she is now. Bullshit. And you know it's true. Bullshit. It's. <sighs> So you gonna Some more. So you Some more. So you trying to say you you trying to say you the reason why I just went on about my business? I just was like, okay, you know what? Of course not. He's the reason why you went on about <laughs> your business. I'm not saying that. What I am saying is. Some of the information okay. that I provided oh, okay. will, will okay. help okay. you make a more informed decision. That's what okay. I'm saying. Yeah. So okay. give me my props. I'm waiting. It's okay. She like to show bartender. Her. She, bartender, she, another round, please. She like to show her affection over drinks. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but seriously though, is um I brought it up because I I wanted to say this that it is a very because you lucky you walked away from your situation with no strings attached. When I ended up in a situation because I was vulnerable at the time, I ended up leaving with a baby. So you're very lucky you walked away hands free like no strings attached that's why i brought it up to say that when we do this whole when we leave from one man and we jump into a situation with another man we don't be giving our time no self our we don't be giving ourselves any time to process or heal from anything that we just went through we just jump straight into a new situation and we end up fucking with a man that we wouldn't even have gave the opportunity or the time of day to and then we end up in these messed up situations with these people and we thinking we love them. But in reality, 
I just needed somebody to comfort me in my time. It's like um, of... it's like trauma bonding. Exactly, it's trauma bonding. I, I'm, yeah, it's trauma bonding for sure, and that's why I brought it up. And plus, it was funny. But <laughs> yeah, because we do, we tend to do that. And I know, like, I don't said it in the past, and you don't said it, and we do, we 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 do it. We tend to talk to somebody else so we can get our mind off of the other person that got our attention. So we'll talk to another nigga and then another man. I'm really trying to get out of the habit of saying that, but we talk to another man and the man that we end up talking to really don't be worth our time. But because we try and distract ourselves from the person who we really want to entertain, we end up talking to somebody that's not worth our time. Mm-hmm. And I'm not saying that the guy who she was in with, he, he is a good person. Like for real, he really is. But it's just at this moment in his life, He's not ready for the level of seriousness it takes when it comes down to dealing with somebody of her caliber. Did I say that right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, so I'm going to accept the applications. Kachika. No. I got you guys. I'm putting a good <laughs> word. So y'all let me know. You know, your girl is back on the market again. Officially, officially back on the market. But no, nah, I'll just decide. I am I am happy that you came back to to reality. Back to life, back to reality. Yeah. And I'm cool. Them fat niggas, man. <laughs> you give their ass a chance. They just eat it. Stomach full of lies. They just eat all the chances. That's why I, I can't bother. That's why when somebody show you who they is the first time, take it for what it is. Don't keep giving them chance after chance after chance after chance because that's who the fuck they is. Ain't no, oh, I'm sorry, ain't, mean, ain't none of that shit. Mm-mm. They show you who they is, let their ass go on about their business. Had I done that, then, hey, I wouldn't be in a situation now that I was just in. But like I said, the situation ended very well. She didn't yeah. leave with a child, so... I ain't leave with no child and yeah. I would say that was a successful <laughs> end of a situation ship if you do, if I don't my, say it myself. I but, didn't leave with a child and I didn't leave with any kids I aborted. Yeah. Ain't nobody asked you that. You could have just left it like that. <laughs> I just wouldn't say that. I'm just saying. <laughs> Cause you you know how they be she ain't leave with no child cause she got an abortion. Like, oh yeah, you know, you know yeah, they yeah, already yeah, yeah. They, yeah. they already be saying she ain't got no kids right now because she done had abortions. No, that's not true at all. I don't even know what that feels like, and I don't want to know what it feels like. Hmm. But anyway, I seen something that just really stirred my soul, and I wanted to bring it to y'all attention about these weak-ass bitches that's out here. And yes, I'm talking about you weak-ass bitches who be destroying people's property and following people, and f- somehow, somewhere, you end up with the person information, you go, you popping up at their house, and you won't leave them alone, you won't let them move on, you just doing all this cutting up and carrying on. I just really want to let y'all know that y'all really need to find something very productive to do with your life and that's how i know y'all don't get no niggas like y'all don't get niggas like i i don't get niggas either because i'm in a relationship but i'm just saying before i got a relationship i was getting some niggas i was getting niggas ain't it yeah friend was getting the niggas so but i'm not saying that to say like toot 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 my horn but i am saying it toot toot yes bitch i be getting the niggas but <laughs> what i'm saying is that's how you know or you could tell that that particular person was not getting no niggas yeah, ain't nobody, ain't nobody with all that stalking shit and tan shit up. Ain't nobody on that because a bitch is sending you straight to your maker. You don't even know it. So to avoid all that, child, just go on about your damn business. Just go on about your business. <clears throat> and there's too many guys out here for you to be doing all that by this one particular one. Way too many. And if you get the niggas, then you know. For the ones that get it, get it. For the ones that don't, don't. Because I get the niggas. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm just playing. But on the different, on the side note, um, women be like, he won't leave me alone. Is it he won't leave you alone or you won't leave him alone? Which one is it? Is it like, because, you know, sometimes some women be so aggravated to the point to where it's like, I'm going to just 
all right, whatever. She let me just talk to her because she won't stop calling. She won't stop popping up to my house. So he eventually. I'll be saying weak men cave in and just start back messing with that particular female, whoever she is. Uh, it takes two to tango. So I never believe that a woman is sitting there talking to herself. He has to be doing some type of leading on, giving her some type of attention, conversation. It has to be something. She ain't just sitting there talking to her damn self. So it got to be something that he doing. Rather he pop up every blue moon or whatever the fuck it is that he doing. He giving her some type of ammo. And some of you just really do be a little delusional because some of them really do be talking to themselves. Like they really do is sit and text his phone back to back to back to back and do all this cutting up and carrying on. And I just be like, yep, you ain't getting no niggas. Mm, mm, mm. I remember a time because I used to be getting niggas at one point in time. I was hung up on this one man, and I remember that's how I know you ain't getting no niggas. <laughs> but you wasn't teen at the nub. You wasn't stalking. You wasn't, you know. No, that's never been in my character. I don't do stuff. <laughs> I don't do. Can't I can I can honestly sit here and tell you on this podcast right now today it ain't no man on god green's earth that could sit and say honey used to be popping up to my house honey used to be stalking me honey used to be doing this honey just was crazy about me it's no man on earth that could ever say nothing 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 like that ever in your life because it just wasn't in my character to be doing all of that i just never wanted you to feel like you was that important because you're really not for real especially if i got to do all of that about you like uh uh-uh. uh. Now it um I don't call a call. I don't call sometimes. I remember one time I called his phone. <laughs> I called his phone a hundred times back to back to back to back because he he had to turn his phone off. In my defense, he had my car. Like why you not answering the phone? You got my car and why you answering the phone? So I would call his phone back to back so he could turn his phone. I was just being petty. I think that's like the most I done <laughs> like, That's the most pettiest thing. Yeah, that's the most pettiest thing that I done did ever to to a man. What about you? Um, the most pettiest thing I done did was <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this about to be a good one. <gasps> oh I had I told this on on the confession thing. I had I told this story. But um I had popped up to this guy house because he just had me all types of fucked up. And I went there to tear his car up, to key his car, and tell me why I got there and I folded. I was scared. I was scared to get out and actually do it. So I sat there for so long with some with my sister, my other sister. I sat there for so long trying to think, should I do it? Should I not do it? The damn man that walked outside and he walked outside and the bitch was behind him. I was like embarrassing but that was like back in my younger days honey that was like age 17 18 the fact that he walked outside not even lets you know that he ain't had no business <laughs> <laughs> you came to destroy you came for a right reason because why you why are you in there with her but in his defense y'all did not go together so yeah we did not go together and baby i was young and i was like I wasn't even 18 at that time. I had to be like 17, 16, something like that. So blame it on my young age. So do you feel like the lack of guidance from your parents or older adults played a role in all the foolery that you used to be doing? Don't say used to be doing like it was just, I was just doing so much of so much. You was. You done did so much foolery. What are you talking about? Yes, I am going to say that. <laughs> Not a lot. Bruh. I ain't saying foolery as in you went to tear up people's stuff foolery. I'm saying all the stuff that you done did, <laughs> girl. Okay, let me not sit here like I'm a saint. Um, yeah, I would definitely say the no damn guidance, actually. Because if I did have the guidance and did have the structure and all that stuff, then I highly, highly, highly doubt that I would have been in those situations that I was in. And now that I'm all grown and shit and I look back on it, I be like, <laughs> terrible. Yeah, so I feel like 
that's the reason why y'all always ask us why we why we say the things that we say and all this stuff. But that's the reason why we do say the things that we say because it's people just like us that didn't have guidance or structure growing up. So being that we done been through so much and we done did so much, some things was unnecessary and some things was necessary. We can speak on certain topics and know exactly what it is that we're talking about. So maybe it'll help somebody else, like, you know. Somebody else that's that was like us. Or that's like us, or that's yeah. younger than us, or that don't have the guidance or the structure or whatever in their household. And, you know, you need some advice or whatever. And something that I said or that she said made sense and it make you change your mind about whatever it was that you was going to do, you didn't change your mind about it. I don't know. I just feel like I... I have to feel this way. I didn't go through all of that. And he ain't write the story he wrote for me for it to be for nothing. I agree. Shit, I'm still over here going through stuff. Still over here trying to figure it out. Not that type of stuff, per se, but life shit. Still over here trying to figure it out. I still ain't got it all figured out yet, but take it day by day, child. Day by day. This episode is sponsored by New Dream Skincare, Cashmere Bar. Uh, this is what I use on my entire body. I have eczema, I have acne, I have breakouts, high, high pigmentation, um, dry skin. I mean, you name it. Oh, oh, girl, right here takes care of it. This is the Cashmere Bar from New Dream Skincare, and yeah. Yeah, I don't think nobody got it all figured out, but you got people who had structure and stability got is a, a lot further in life than the people who didn't. And it's all about what it is that you make it. So we could sit and say, oh, my dad wasn't this or mama wasn't this or whatever, whatever. The fact of the matter is, yes, they wasn't what they should have been as parents, but it's still ultimately up to you to make whatever you're going to make of your life. So regardless on whether your mama wasn't this or your daddy wasn't that, it's up to you. On, it, you can't, you can, and when people do this, they try to sit and have these conversations with me, and I just be sitting there looking, and it's like, okay, all that happened, okay, so what you going to do? I'm the wrong person to try to kind of get sympathy from, like the absolute wrong person. Oh, no, I don't, I don't have any, I don't have any type of sympathy because you seeing all this that you're seeing, what are you going to do about it? That happened. Okay, now what? You going to dwell on the past or you going to fucking do something about it? You're not going to do nothing about it? Okay, what the hell you keep talking to me about it for? I don't want to hear it. At that point, my ears shut off and I just be sitting there looking because I don't want to hear that shit. I go to hitting you with them. Mm, it ain't nothing else left to talk about because I done been through so much traumatic things in my life. You can't come and try to complain to me about your problems in your life and you not doing nothing about it. You mean to tell me you're just not going to do nothing? Oh, your mama wasn't this to you. Your daddy wasn't there. He popped in, in and out. And now I'm a stripper. Or now I'm selling cootie. Or now I'm... Okay, so what else you going to do? You going to use your mama and your daddy as an excuse on why you not shit? Let's be for real. Let's be honest. Like, I always tell my kids and other kids. I tell every anybody, any, any one of them. I know me as a parent, I know I've tried. I know I try. And I know I do the best that I can do at that moment of time. And if I don't know something, I know I'm going to go find out for you. So I know I'm putting my best foot forward when it comes down to my kids. If you turn out to be a shithead, you can't sit and really say, my mama is the reason on why I'm this way or this way or that way. You made your own life decisions. You could try to blame me, but guess what I'm going to do at the end of the night? I'm going to go to bed and I'm not going to lose no sleep because I know I did my very best when it came down to raising you and doing whatever it is that you need to do. So for any parent who kid out here and y'all, they doing this and they run around and he want to run around with guns and gang bang and do this and do that, but you do your very best for your kid. Oh, she want to run around. She want to be a hoe. She want to do whole shit. And you know you doing your best for your kid. You know you 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 are not the parent that you probably got, or you're a better parent than most people. Child, I ain't losing a wink of sleep over that. That's your life. You gonna decide to do what you want to do in your life, and I can't control that. Like people who be like, Cardi B said it at one point. Like, I'm not your kid role model. You supposed to be, you raise your kid the way you supposed to raise your kid. I'm not your kid role model. It's not my job to raise your kid. And I just feel like, yeah, it's not your job at all. It's not. But you got to think about it from a different perspective. I don't allow my kid to listen to Sexy Red in my house at all. 
I don't even listen to Sexy Red. So I don't allow my kids to listen to Sexy Red. However, what she do, does when she's outside with her friends and she's at school or she's doing... Ex- I can't control that. I'm not at school with her. I'm not... I, I can't be everywhere with her at every second. So those things are out of my control. However, I know when she's home, I control what it is that goes on in my household to a certain point. But... All that, oh, it's all up to the parent, and I'm not responding. I just, I don't know. How you feel about it? I feel like, yeah, I get what she's saying when she said that I'm not your kid's role model. But look at the type of music that you're putting out there. Look at your audience. I hear kids all the time listening to Sexy Red, listening to Cardi B. I feel like that is not acceptable at all. What the hell is eight year old, ten year old, eleven year old listen to listen to this shit for? So in a, in a, in a way, you are the problem <laughs> too. <laughs> That's it. Like it's like you're not no you're you didn't sign up to be these kids' role model, but you are. So even if you came back and you had a little live and you did some conversations with the kids, let them know, hey, don't take this literally and da 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 and tried to clean it up in some kind of way, then okay, whatever. But at the end of the day, you do contribute to things that happen in in the culture and in these kids' life and some of these adults' life, which can't nobody make me do nothing that I don't want to do. But, yeah, that's I, I just be seeing, like, a lot of artists saying, like, you need to raise your kid better and you need to do this with your kid, but... Every second of the second, I'm not with my kid. I can't monitor every single thing that they do. And I know when I'm home, I've been there not hear no damn sexy red song playing in my house. Like, it don't even make sense to me as to why you even listening to it to begin with as a kid. Like, even as an adult. But, you know, that's just whatever. That's a topic for a different day. But, yeah, nah, we ain't going for that. So, was out of my control, and I'm saying this for the parents, was out of your control with your kid is what's out of your control. You can't control every second of their life. You can't live their life for them. They got to make their own decisions, and they got to understand whatever decisions they make today is going to affect their tomorrow and so on and so forth. So you keep doing your best and whatever it is that you need to do to, to be there for your kid and provide for them and so on and so forth and teach them, not just buy them stuff. You got a whole bunch of kids who got a whole lot of clothes and shoes and dumb than a box of rocks. Can't tell you north from south. So if you doing whatever it is you need to be doing as far as raising your kids fundamentally, then you keep on going and try. I don't, don't lose a week of sleep over however they end up turning out because... Some kids be having good, really good upbringings and best households, and they still turn out to be and they shitheads. still walk around here like they ain't got no damn sense. Like, did you see that um that twenty verse one that with that little RT boy, little what the fuck is that RT, mm-hmm. little RT with the um twenty little girls, and one of the little girls was like um uh something by Crip and Blood. If you if you had to help. If you had to help the Crip or the Blood, who you helping? He was like, huh? And then she said it again. And he was just sitting there looking. And he was like, huh? And I'm like, first of all, little girl, what you know anything about that for? Like, how you know about that? And he don't even understand what the hell you asking him. He's just sitting there looking stupid He didn't as understand hell. majority of all he, the questions. They, I don't even think the little girls understood what the hell they was asking, to be for real. And then um, one of the little girls asked him something by a girlfriend or something like that. And I'm like, why are they on here? Ain't ain't this for adults? Why they on here? He don't know what the hell they talking about. Because he keeps saying, huh? What? He don't understand. And then the little girls just act the questions that they asking is like. Hmm. I ain't even, I just seen that little small clip and I just got off of it because I don't want to see that shit. Y'all don't. The whole, everybody who was in cahoots with that needed to be locked up because y'all, you know what? It's just, it's so sad how people subject these kids and exploit these kids 
for their own personal gain. Because even this little RT boy, it's just, why your mama and daddy or who, who, who is in charge of you, who your guardian is, allowing you to make this kind of music? And I know you can't stop him from writing it or you can't stop him from doing certain things, but you cannot, you do have control over what gets recorded and where he go at. And I've seen videos of this little boy getting twerked on by grown women. And it's like y'all don't see nothing wrong. Y'all don't see nothing wrong with that. Like you, you guys in the black culture, guy, I just don't see nothing wrong with that. And oh, because be he's the, because he's a boy. He's a boy, so it's okay for women to twerk on him, and that's how you know that he's not gonna be gay. You grooming him to be, like, why? And y'all don't under y'all y'all don't take into account the the psychological effect that these type of things have on this little boy to think that that is okay. So then he in school and he want a little girl to dance on him. He like shake that ass. Like, and it look like, I just, it's just, it's just, it, y'all disgusting. y'all people and y'all. And then the first thing that they going to say in the comments is why you worried about other people? Kids? Because these are the kids of the future. These are the kids that's going to be, in our future, like they're gonna be in charge when it was. Well, hopefully, they change how they are and they actually are alive to see the damn future. But these are the kids that's gonna be in charge and that's gonna be in the world. They're gonna be adults and we're gonna be the old people. We're gonna be the old heads and they they gonna be the young adults. And this is what y'all teaching these kids. Like y'all not teaching them no real life, nothing. Just straight foolishness and then when somebody say something about it oh you hating or why you got to talk about the kids it's like um what's the look what's the song um hey little mama why you doing so funky hey it's a whole bunch of little girls inside of that video twerking little girls i ain't what like, who, who's the heck it, it's a little boy like RT age, a little boy. Hey, little mama, why you dance so funky? And they in that, that, I mean, when I say they popping, they locking, they is locking them hips, honey. They tearing it down. Hmm. And I just was like, y'all sitting y'all at older people. That was y'all, that was y'all back then. That, that was y'all back then. But y'all gonna sit here, y'all gonna act like this just started. This, ain't, this shit ain't just start. This is, this shit ain't just start being that shit been going on. They, these girls ain't just start being hoes. This shit, y'all been hoes. Your grandma was a hoe. Your auntie was a hoe. All the way back then. I ain't saying all y'all, but y'all get what I'm saying? They ain't just start being hoes. They ain't just start being like this. No, they been like that from way back then. They just worse now. Conversation that black people not ready to have is the fact that y'all do all this hip hop paved the way and hip hop this. Let's celebrate these people in hip hop. And they really help in the demise of the black culture. The Lil Kims, the Trinas, the Uncle Lukes. They, they really like help. You watch the black culture fall down. Like the value of women, like... Scroll the scrub. ground, scroll the ground. Don't stop. Pop that. Mm -mm. Let me see you do. Uh, 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 uh. Hmm. You literally watch the value of the black woman just go down, 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 down. And then these the same people that y'all sitting here saying that they are hip hop icons and how they paved the way. How, what they paved the way? For? They paved the way for the sexy reds of today. Trina, Lil' Kim, y'all paved the way for these people. And y'all sit here and y'all act like this is not a problem. It's a problem. Like, when I see these hip-hop um, um, honorary documentaries on certain artists and they got all these... And I just be looking, I'm like... We celebrating the demise of black people? That's what we doing here? But that's a conversation that y'all really not ready to have and y'all gonna say, oh, she hating or she this, but these people got rich... Wow, some of y'all people died. Some of y'all people went to prison. Some of y'all people lost their mind. And these people got rich and went on to feed their families and so like, on. Like um that Plies era. Remember um oh I'm being God. your bushes. Um 
what it was it was a lot of um I'ma be in your uh what bushes, um Unless I got, you pussy niggas know I, I got, got bun money. money and I get all mine to the bare buns man. Yeah, apply, it was a lot of it was a lot of people that went to pro- um, I, well, I think it was called Merkin season or Mer- Lurk something goon, some shit. Goon affiliated. Go- I remember that <laughs> shit. Like it was so many niggas going to jail. That was the- <laughs> killing people, robbing people. I mean Penny, robbery down. Was up by a thousand percent during that Plies era. Like it just was crazy and I really and this is the thing that I do respect about Plaza and this is why I say it all the time at least he came back and he changed the way that he presents himself he changed the way the music that he make he changed his perspectives he's able to be more vocal on real life situations and it does not make it okay but he did exactly what it is that everybody else do he came in, he made music that was popping, he made music that was selling, he made his money, and then he changed everything. You don't hear him rapping about no coming to land your bushes and come, he, you don't hear him rapping about none of that. You are my rock. Uh, uh, uh. Have you ever made love to <laughs> Like, you don't hear him rapping about none of that, what he used to. I don't even think he performed these songs. Cause when I heard him performing that one event that I was at, um, I didn't even hear none of those songs. He 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 performed like maybe six or seven songs or something like that. I didn't hear not one near one of those songs. Hmm. It was it was it was just like water. Oh, I need me and me and like water. Mm-hmm. Like, it was like those like shouty. It was those kind, but it was none of those goon affiliated songs. None of those lay down, bling your bushes. None of that shit. It was none of that. And he did what exactly what everybody else do. He came in. What was selling? What was selling? Every what sells to the black people is killing, murders and robbing, robbing and drug dealing and, and stuff. Selling, selling vagina pussy and that that that's what sells. So that's what he came in and he did. But he cleaned it up at the end, and he shows you a different way that you could live. Don't make it right that his original message was what it was, and a lot of people lost their freedom. Fucking with that shit, but at the end of the day, it's all on you. I didn't hear, I didn't listen to none of those sons and say, I'm gonna go kill somebody. Or I'm gonna go rob somebody. I'm finna go lay in his bushes and. No, no, no. Mm-mm. I listened to Trina. She listened to Trina. I didn't listen to none of those sons say, I'm gonna sell pussy for a living. Nope. Nothing about none of the songs said, I'm gonna make a career and do this. No. Like, it's all about the individual person at the end of the day, but at, y'all also have to take accountability for what you put out in the world. What you put out in the world, people are going to take that and they're going to do whatever it is that they going to do with that information. And for you to say, oh, that ain't got nothing to do with me. Oh, that ain't, I, I'm not responsible for that. It's just like, damn, take some type of accountability for it. But hey, child. That's a conversation that y'all are not ready to have because y'all hip-hop legends paved the way for this fucking stupidity that's going on nowadays. All uh, every other song. I was in the car with somebody. Girl, this man played an album from a well-known artist. Out of the whole I think it was like 16 songs. Out of the whole album, maybe four songs was not talking about killing. And three of which was a female song. And I was like, so you just gonna keep listening to this over and over and over again? I was getting really agitated because I didn't want to hear it no more. It's like all they talking about is murder, 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 murder. Like, I don't even murder people. Why the f- you don't even murder people? So why are you listening? To that <laughs> That's like um that one that died. Um, fuck, what is his name? Lil Dirk and the friend, whoever he is, the boy. Um, what his name is? Oh, King Von. I cannot listen to them. I cannot listen to them. Like I can't, I can't sit there and listen to them because I don't want to hear all that. What fun? Ah! And all this pow, 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 kill, 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 and shoot them up, bang up, slide them on the face across the concrete. I can't listen to shit. Like I cannot. Like I like the one all my life. Oh, it ha- ain't it how it goes? Something mm-hmm. like that. Who on there? Um, J. Cole. J. Cole. I like that one. I can listen to that over and over again. I like that one. But all the rest of that shit, I can't listen to that. Mm-mm. 
Are these just nothing but a whole bunch of wannabe gangsters that can't do no time for real, that you're going to get in there, you're going to cry, ask for your mama. You can't do no time. You're going to be talking about, can you tell on some damn body? Uh, and then y'all get, and y'all be listening to all these songs, like, y'all just so gangster. Oh, you quick to go try to pick up a gun and shoot somebody, but you can't fight. Like, make it make sense. If I'm going to go do some time, I'm going to go do some time buy some money, buy some, sh buy some shit that I really did not know. Even the killing of, uh, what's the boy name? Hmm. The one who just got killed. They just caught his Fulio. 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 It was, it was just basically back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. You kill somebody that was in our crew. We going to kill somebody else. You kill. And it's just like, that's what be going on from way. This be way before our time. That's what's been going on. But it's like, at what point do y'all say, okay, all right, how can we end this? How can we, all right, you done killed this person, you done killed this person, we done killed this person. Like, at what point does it end? Y'all just going to keep going back and it's forth? It's going to keep going back and forth into some, into which they die. Now that he dead, does it stop right there? I'm pretty sure they people in somewhere plotting and scheming, trying to find a way to... Young and Ace just did an interview. He said he can't even, he don't, his mama, this is first, his his mama, second time coming to his house. He don't let nobody come to his house because he don't want nobody following her, which is understandable. He don't want nobody following her, this, that, and the third, and how anybody has set you up. And he, the way he was speaking, it just was so much death. Like, and it, he was the same when his friends got all his mm -hmm. friends got shot and all that stuff. And it's just like, how could how how can you live a free life like that? Like, at what point do y'all be like, okay? Because I know like back in the days when it was like a whole bunch of killing going on, they can't the the leaders whoever was in charge of the group came together and they're like, okay, what can we do to? In this. This episode is sponsored by New Dream Skincare, and this is the honey butter. This is what I have on my skin. Y'all see glowing and all that good stuff. Um, I use the soap on my face too when I have not all over, but when I have like little breakouts here and there. My I don't have bad skin. But when I be going on my date, tuh, huh, they be like, What you got on? Huh. And I be like, mm, that's that honey butter, baby. Smell good, ain't it? What y'all gonna do? Like, what y'all, are y'all gonna call a truce? It's like, okay, y'all stay out of our way. We're gonna stay out of y'all way. You don't come over here. Y'all don't come over there. Like, how can y'all end this killing spree that y'all on? Because it seems like y'all, all this killing music, ain't nobody making no damn money. Like, if you killing everybody, where the money at? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. And I'm quite sure. A lot of this shit can be avoided. I never understood the whole them dissing each other and I, you don't want to kill his homeboy. Now he got to come and kill you or your homeboy. Like, that shit whack as fuck. It's whack and it don't make no sense. And you are literally taking these people away from their family. Hmm. Glad I don't mess with no gangsters. I'm trying to tell you, I can't be in no car with nobody who be doing no robberies and no murders and stuff. A little, mm -mm, a little drugs. Now I ain't gonna say I'm a I'm a saint, but I I I don't I I've never messed with somebody who just robbed people for a living or killed people for a living. Like, yeah, you kill them, you'll kill me. Mm -mm. I don't talk to a thief couple these before like two maybe three but i ain't uh i ain't on that if i know that you done kill you killing shit whacking shit i'm scared of you and i can't be fucked up with you because i'm gonna feel like if i do something if i piss you off and make you mad you gonna whack me no nope. ain't on that hmm. and i don't i don't i don't fool with thieves and i don't fool with murders <laughs> Nope. First of all, y'all too grown for me. I don't fool with them type of people. When you know, bitch, you know better, you do better. Bitch, I was young then. I ain't, I ain't young like that no more. It's not up my alley anymore.
Because paying all your bills and then inviting them in over to your house is just crazy work, huh? Who paying all my bills? You paying all your own bills and inviting a man to your house is crazy work. You was going to pay them motherfuckers anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you was going to pay them anyways before this man came along two weeks ago, a week ago. You was going to, your rent was still going to get, you. your rent was still due. Yo, car note still had, all this stuff still had to get paid before this man came along, before you met him two weeks ago, a week ago, a couple of days ago. You still was going to do all this. So why do I have to pay all your bills for me to come over there to your house? I, un like, let some time go by, baby. Uh-uh. I ain't just out the gate coming, coming to your house and paying all your bills. Girl, you got to be crazy. Let me like you first. Let me get to know you first. Let me see if you worth me giving all my fucking money to and paying all these bills. Let me, mm -mm. That's why I cannot be no dude. <laughs> Hell no. <laughs> Not that you were born one anyway. Yeah, but I can't, I, I wouldn't want to, I wouldn't want to be one. Mm -mm. These, these women out here if I was a, If I was a man, y'all hoes have me so fucked up. Like, pay for what? Your hair? Pay. I'm not paying for your grooming service. You already supposed to be on that anyway. Why do I got to pay for it? What's wrong with you? Like, your nails and your... Okay, if he want to volunteer, if I want to volunteer, which I would not, but if I wanted to, okay, I volunteer, but why you feel as if I should pay for your nails and your hair? I couldn't be nothing. Damn! Y'all no you gonna be a crab-ass nigga? Gonna you ain't, vol no, you ain't volunteering? No, no. y'all gonna fuck me off the strength of who I am. I understand all that, but you ain't gonna volunteer from time to time? No, my girl, yeah. I'm gonna pay for my girl. What if, if, so, if. she has to be your girlfriend for you to do anything for her. She has to be my girlfriend for me to take my hard-earned money that I worked for, whatever it is that I did to get it, I did it. For me to spend my money on her, yes. You got to be somebody of some significance to me. You just about to be a random, just because you fine or whatever the case is, I'm just about to just be peeling off money to you. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm no. not doing all that. Uh-uh. No, 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 no. I ain't say, I ain't say all that, but I don't if, even if, give niggas, I don't even, I don't even be having sex with men that I, that's just cute. And they feel like, yeah. oh, just because you cute, I'm supposed to give you some, no, like, no, I, I damn well ain't giving no bitch no money and I don't work hard for it. Shouldn't me? I actually hate those type of niggas. Just because you look good, you expect me to come off some ass. No, but and it's vice good. versa. Just because a yeah. female look good, she expect for him to come off some money. Girl, go to hell and go to work. Girl, yeah, bye. Yeah, but if, if I was a guy, you got to, you got to... You ain't gotta be my girlfriend, but you gotta you hold gotta some be type damn of near close to yeah, your girlfriend yeah. for you to come off some money on yep. a regular basis for yep. whatever it is she's talking about. You're yep. not just about to be no random chick that I I mess with from time to time. I may throw you a couple dollars off the strength of I might want to hit you again. But if I don't want to hit you again, girl, bye. You have better luck at McDonald's getting <laughs> a free burger than getting some money up out of me. I couldn't. I think that's why he made me no nipples. <laughs> <laughs> he ain't made me want. He, I believe that's why he ain't made me want either. Because girl, what fuck out of my face with that dumb shit? Either you my girlfriend or bitch, you damn near close to, damn near close to it. You I my ain't favorite. Here, you, you my favorite. He ain't, I ain't out here just. Oh, I'm finna buy you a wig, you a purse, you this. I'm paying all your. Nah, baby, we ain't doing none of that. Huh? Mm -hmm. And that's why these hoes act how they act, because y'all niggas. <laughs> mm mm. Touche. And y'all be sitting here acting like these men don't have feelings. And it's a lot of men that act macho and they act like they ain't got feelings because if they show emotion, mm -hmm. then bitches gonna try to play on it. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather just not even show you that side of me so you don't even think you can play with me like that. But these men be wanting to come home and decompress. Let me come home and get a little fiction. I want a little fiction. Give me some little fiction. Nope. Mm mm. Where that money at? You ain't got no money. You can't come here. You ain't got no money. You can't come here. But it's like, dang, I had a bad day today. <laughs> the trap what trap in the day. The boss cut the hours or whatever, and they if they ain't got them coins, y'all can't come here. Back then, back 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 then. 
don't know, cause the your mama was he had money, so who your mama? Oh, 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 so she I I didn't see her. She I only ever seen her with one person. I've never Me seen too. her with nobody else. If she did mess with other people, I never seen it. But in the one person she did have, he was always bringing home the bacon. So in my eyes, he need to come home with some money. <laughs> he need to come home with some money. But it was, it was also drilled in our head that if a man can't do nothing for you, then you don't need to be messing with him either, which is a very, very bad thing i feel like that's a bad thing for you to for you to like drill that in your daughter or your niece or whoever drill that in a female head like i don't i feel like that causes more harm than it does good yeah because at a young age i was always told he ain't got no money don't fuck with him he can't do nothing for you what you talking to him for and shit i took that and i ran with it money please <laughs> give it here and i had I wasn't always how I am now. Now I'm more, you know. But back then, I felt like a nigga was obligated to do, pay whatever I tell him to pay, get my nails done, get my hair done, and all that other stuff. And if you act like if you act like you didn't want to do it or you couldn't do it, then I just start talking to somebody else that's gonna do what it is that I'm actually do. And now. I don't do shit like that no more. But um that was that was really that was pretty wicked. <laughs> that was that was really pretty wicked. Cause I don't feel as if a man is obligated to do anything for you. But growing up, that's what it was that we was taught. So for a lot of years, if you couldn't do nothing for me, I was not fucking with your ass. I don't care about all that friendship shit. And then one day it just was like, I don't know what happened. It just something just clicked. I don't know. I just was like I just got tired of using people. Like I just, <laughs> I just got tired of using people. I think that's exactly what happened. I just got tired of only talking to people because of what they could do for me. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to actually get to know somebody and talk to them and really build a friendship or a relationship with somebody. And I couldn't do that because if you couldn't do nothing for me, I was not talking to you. And that wasn't my own thought process. That was something that I was taught. And then I stopped. I just stopped. One day I just stopped. I'm, like, I'm going to talk to somebody. And if, oh, child. Uh, if I, <laughs> the person I picked to talk to after I had I would have my moment, I picked to talk to somebody. I'm like, I'm going to talk to him because. Da, 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 da. And I, it was just, oh, child. It was terrible. It was the worst thing <laughs> in my life. It was terrible. But I learned a lot from that relationship about myself. And I have never, ever, ever looked back and won't ever look back. And a motherfucker like that could never look my way. I don't care. People be like, oh, you got kids. You need to take what you get. Away. I wouldn't give a damn. I don't care. I will never, ever, ever settle for just anybody just because I got kids. Fuck you. Go to hell. And if you don't want to talk to me, I want to talk to me. I don't care. But I'm not settling just for anybody just because I got kids. No. The fuck? I don't have to, so why would I do that? It's too many out here for me to pick from. And I've learned, like, what people, what women with kids need to understand is you are not always going to be the first pick, but you are a pick for somebody. And you just have to weather through all of that and be okay with being by yourself, being okay with letting a person go who don't suit you, being okay with, okay, well, he ain't the one, so whatever. Like, being okay with this is your life. This is what you signed up for the day that you decide to start having kids or a child. So you have to be mindful of that. Don't mean it's the end of the world, y'all. Y'all took that video and just, oh, she's saying that women with kids ain't shit. And da, 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 da. That's not what I said. All I'm seeing is the shit ain't easy. And you, y'all, come on now. You gonna really sit here and say, oh, I got so many options lined up to be my baby, my kid's stepdaddy. No, you don't. They just want to hit. You have a lot of options that want to fuck you, but not really fuck with you. Because that shit takes a lot to come in and be somebody's stepdaddy. Like, you practically they other parent. That is a lot. So, 
y'all women with kids, myself included, which I understand this. I don't know why y'all acting like y'all don't get the shit. Like I'm speaking in some foreign alien language that y'all don't understand. The fact of the matter is you need to understand that not everybody, you're going to be their type. Not everybody's going to want to fuck with you. And sometimes you're going to have to let these niggas go. Even the one that you really like. Why? Because he is not mentally ready to be with you and your kids. That's just what it is. You need to learn how to be by yourself and be okay with that. And learn how to mix and mingle. You ain't got to fuck all the niggas, but you could talk to different people and see who really suits you and who's really down to down for your cause, which is you and your kids at the end of the, or your child at the end of the day. So... Yeah, I wasn't speaking up for I said what I said and I meant what I said and you can take it how you want to take it and I don't care. Y'all just went so crazy in them comments when it came down to that. Go crazy in them comments and let that man see his baby. How about that? On that note, hmm, thank y'all for watching Smooch Loves Honey. You can follow us, follow us on Instagram at Smooch Loves Honey, TikTok, YouTube, what else we got? Oh, Facebook. What else we got? Do we? Oh, we have an OnlyFans too. Nah, I'm just fucking with y'all. Oh, and you can follow me on Smooch underscore X on all platforms. I don't know. Would y'all want to see an OnlyFans from us? Leave a comment down below. If you would like to see a Smooch Loves Honey OnlyFans, comment down below. Send us a DM. And if we get enough comments, we get enough likes, we get enough DMs, we might be able to make that happen for y'all. I'm just saying. I'm honey, you know, the one, the only, the realest, always. Mm, mm. Just get face.